All right, so if you saw my other video, we took a king size bed out of here. And uh, so I thought I, I want to cut this down to a queen. So I'm very disappointed on how these things are put together because it's like junk. Um, nothing supporting here. It's supported through here, through this board. So I'm going to rip that down to 60 wide. But when I, I, I got to take this this end off here so i'll take that end off it's held by two screws one there and one here and then i'm going to cut i'll cut that down four inches and then i got to take that off on the either side so these these two ends will stay the same this will be cut down i'll take it out and cut it on my chop saw and then this i gotta cut in place um this this board here and i gotta cut it two inches off either side so all they do is they use a ton of staples that's it and when i do that i'm gonna have have this much exposed here what i what i have is a nice finished piece of um eighth inch plywood that's um left over from a project of mine and I will cut it out and glue it down here. And then these, these screws that are holding this in here and this in here, it's just screwed, you know, a screw goes in yay far. And the problem is, um, over time vibrating, going down the road, it's going to vibrate loose. So I'm going to glue and screw it, which will make it better. And then this board here, I will rip down to 60 and then when you lift this up you can see the rollers there and then this vinyl here that allows the bed to slide back and forth and so when I cut this down to 60 I'll have more um, room here I'll, I'll end up with two inches on either side more uh, actually almost two and a half inches on either side more counter space if you will to put things um so yeah you know it's just not well put together and the wood they use is junk i know it's all hidden um under the plywood but still you know for what you pay for a trailer it's amazing what the crappy craftsmanship they use and this is a cruiser rv um so Anyway, that will be next, and um, uh, once I get it cut, I will put it back together and show you how it looks. And then, as soon as we get the queen bed, we'll throw it on there. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for checking in. I'll post uh, a finished one here in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. Um, you can see I've got some glue in these corners now. I ripped them down. Um, that is cut down. And it is perfect. You can see how much more room I'm going to have on either side. You know, that's a lot more room than when the king. I think it's a total of four inches on either side that we've gained. So um, they didn't have any glue in these corners. Not glued. The screws didn't go all the way through. They were just for this uh, fancy decorative board. Um, tons of uh, staples. They must have had half a pound in staples in all four corners uh, combined. So uh, I glue glued it. I used longer wood screws. So it goes all the way through. And there's really no, on this, on this framework right here, this framework is not load bearing. It's just something for the um, plywood to attach to. The load bearing is here in this front and then right there on that sliding board right there. So that's where the load bearing or that's where the, the bracing comes in. So when I, I make this, it'll actually be about like that. And um, so it'll, it'll come away from, it's not gonna rest on that wall. Cause it does slide back and forth. Uh, something that they forgot to do was put the um, uh, latch there. So I put a latch. 
because we, we noticed when we we're driving down the road this thing would slide left and right left and right which is not good and i looked on their brochure and it's, and it's supposed to lock they just forgot to do it so something else i fi fixed um so now i'm going to sc start screwing the plywood down and i'll be done once the plywood's down uh the next next thing will be putting the mattress in so that's it i'll do a real short video on when supply was down